Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading for the 29th of November until the 5th of December. It's going to be a general one, so please take what resonates and discard the rest. And yeah, let's welcome in the beautiful high frequency archangels, ascended masters, light beings, spirit guides, our high selves, uh, Lady Isis, and also any other multi-dimensional souls. I'd like to be a time of this reading. Okay Scorpio, let's see what wants to jump out here for you for the centre of your reading here. Okay, we have three cards. Interesting. Maybe we'll go with these three. Um, okay, so in this order. In order of appearance, we have uh, the Two of Pentacles. Then we have the Queen of, I don't read, read Reversal, sorry. Uh, not at this point, anyway. Um, two of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit. So it's looking like you're kind of really chilling at the moment, um, Scorpio. You're kind of going within a bit. You're looking to, I guess, integrate some new things. Maybe you're looking to be flexible and adaptable. But you also there's some deeper maybe soul kind of questions that you're asking yourself too at, the, at this time. Um, this is a card about nurturing. So you are, you know, endeavoring to do the self-care and the, the self-honoring here uh, let's see what's coming um, around this as well underneath you have the key of swords so this is your personal truth wanting to come forward also mastery and and strength here and also um, a strong intellect and, and analytical abilities here uh, that you're no doubt no doubt applying to this situation and here we have the seven of swords from the past so yeah you've been um i guess doing some analysis and working out what you what's going to be useful for you and what isn't in terms of your beliefs and values and ideas here moving forward um and you're getting clearer on that by the look because the hermit is um standing next to this and he's sort of shining his light here so you're getting you're shedding some light on some things here and wow the world card so this is about you moving into freedom um you know getting a nice combination of freedom and responsibility here okay which is like that self-responsibility but also kind of having a sense of belonging and place in the world as well as um you know having that in balance um and also that thing about your inner life and your outer life kind of matching up here that's what's likely to kind of evolve here for you scorpio okay nine of pentacles really nice you're kind of looking to move into independence um, I guess comfort ease and a really nice balanced lifestyle here and kind of you know going the way you know things going the way that you would like them to go in terms of um, yeah finances well-being happiness but you also understand the value of hard work here and this is about you know you're passionate about what you do and you are you know receiving compensation for that um, yeah also a nice balance of energy in, energy out, the nine of pentacles, okay. You're doing enough here to fill your own cup, okay, as well as contributing in the world. Um, and here we have the six of cups in your current energy. So, yeah, this is like an emotional exchange. Um, I think maybe you are, you're experiencing a, a good amount of emotional exchange um, with others here. This can also be a bit of a nostalgic energy. So maybe there's something about your childhood or um, teen years that are sort of that's coming to your um, consciousness at the moment. Here we have in your environment the Ten of Cups, which is really awesome. So you have a lot of um, like emotional support around you at the moment, which is great. Here you have the Three of Pentacles. So a goal, perhaps you're looking to work on something to collaborate with others and to become really good at what you do here. So you're no doubt applying yourself in a practical way. And here we have the Three of Swords to finish, which is perhaps um, about some healing or there's something that you are, I guess, you know, maybe you're still looking to work on. We'll grab some more clarification in a minute. You also have the Four of Cups here. So there's something here that you are sort of dwelling on and for whatever reason you're not kind of seeing this or maybe you're aware of this offer here but you're not um, 
ready or willing or able at this point to accept that um, cup there, if that's something to do with creativity, spirituality, um, you know, intuition. It could be something about yourself or something in your environment, okay? Um, we're going to clarify in a minute. But I'm just going to pause for a couple of seconds to just get a quick view here. Okay, Scorpio, look at the centre of your reading here. We're going to revisit these three cards. Um, so I feel at the moment there are, that there are things that you are sort of juggling. Okay, there's uh, maybe a, a toing and froing of something. I don't know whether it's an, um, it could be anything. You know, it could be um, an indecision type of energy or it might be that you simply have a lot on your plate and you're sort of juggling this. Um, you know, you're feeling reasonably energized by it, but it's like you're having to be really flexible and adaptable. Um, and it could be that what you're looking for is uh, to sort of just be have more stillness, more um, calm, more groundedness. I feel like this is perhaps, you know, um, ungrounded kind of energy that's coming in on top of this, um, your wish just to have perhaps be more... Um, I guess maybe to simplify things a bit to um, yeah and here we have the, the hermit okay so this is um, I think um, perhaps what you are also wanting is some bit of a bit of time out here and there for yourself uh, because this could be kind of um, overtaking that maybe you're having challenges carving out some time for this type of thing um, because I feel that what you're looking to um, really come into centre and alignment with is this Queen of Pentacles because across the centre of your reading you have uh, this, you know, directly across from this you have the Nine of Pentacles as well. So your opportunity is um, about this coming into, I guess, a strength and a sense of your um, identity but also in your, your place in the world and how you're working and operating. Um, and this is sort of, it is a bit to do with identity but being... Um, I guess sort of self-empowered as well is what this is saying here as well as sort of um, financially and practically and emotionally kind of um, in a good place here um, as well so yeah that's kind of what I'm gathering from that and also the across the center is that this sifting and sorting process seven of seven of swords is um, there's lots of yellow and red in the, across the center of your reading here which is great because it's all about passion and I feel that you are you are passionate about what you're doing, um, but you're having to sort of make selective choices here. This is about selecting what's right for you and what, what is working and what isn't working that out. Um, because also underneath here you have this King of Swords really asking you to align with your personal truth and kind of, I guess, um, creating your identity and really doing that in a way that is independent of others. So really, and I think this is what you're wanting this hermit time here is to just really have to that time to just go within, to really connect in with yourself um, to kind of work that out, okay? Um, and that, yeah, this is about also your authenticity, okay? So it may be deeper levels of authenticity and personal truth that you're looking to kind of activate within yourself here now because this is about definitely authenticity, okay? This is about being your true self out in the world. Um, but I feel that at the moment that this um, juggling energy could be coming in on top of it. Maybe these are demands, uh, other people's demands or um, issues that are perhaps could be in some ways sort of hampering your um, opportunity to take some time out um, because this is sort of what the Four of Cups is saying as well. It's like, you know, if we are dwelling on other people's um, issues here and we're not taking the time, um, we might be missing out on things that we can do, okay, things that you can do for yourself here, Scorpio, to really help you to move into this. This is an opportunity, okay, that's coming up that you might be able to kind of really start to step into that energy more if you're not already experiencing that already or maybe you've started to make movements in that direction. You also have the Six of Cups here. So this could be something from the past. Maybe you are <clears throat> reminiscing of earlier years and maybe there was something that you love to do. And this could be, um, you know, maybe this was something 
you know, solitary where you took some time out, but it might also be about exchanging emotions with others and moving, you know, doing some happy things here. If, I mean, this is, um, you know, you're passionately going about the business, but there could be other things involved in this juggling that are, you know, perhaps they're taking you away, taking you away from your happiness a little bit at times. Um, but I feel like your current energies that you're really wanting to move into that, you're in, the environment is conducive for you to move into happiness and this is your goal here uh, it's interesting that we have this so the three of the pentacles is going to be contained within the nine okay um and it's also great that we have the, the two here okay and this thing here about your flexibility okay that's also contained in the nine um but it it's it could be a different type of flexibility so maybe this might be applied to your own personal how you go about doing things sometimes if this is flexibility that we that we are find ourselves having to activate in response to other people's stuff that take us away from our center okay that's a different type of flexibility than say if we are in our passion or our role and we are within that role that thing that we love to do we are activating our creativity and our ingenuity and our flexibility okay within that role so Scorpio if you feel that this at the moment this is taking you away from your center it's about bringing that in and using it as part of your nine of pentacles here so really activating all those creatively ad adaptable skills that you have to form your um, you know like and your true authenticity and your true empowerment here um, and this is the reason I'm saying all of this is because I think this card is about aligning your heart with your thoughts and your ideas and your beliefs. So here you are, you know, gathering those beliefs here and those ideas that you're wanting to move forward with. And now it's about, um, this is a card of, to some degree, there could be a little bit of misalignment. So maybe your thoughts are guiding your actions um, a lot. But maybe this reading is about encouraging you to align your heart, your center with your feeling body into your empowerment here. So your nine of pentacles, your queen of pentacles here, which is that um, stillness and groundedness. Also, you know, applying your creativity here as well. Um, and because of the red, okay, this is um, passion, inspiration, um, happiness and joy. Interesting thing is here then the four of cups the red is sort of here in potential but it's covered by other things okay so at the moment this this the version of this where it's sort of a blocking energy could be um what you're dealing with because this is certainly um a bit of a bit of blockage i don't think it's anything major scorpio i think you're just tweaking things a little bit to um really just move into even more so your personal truth and your alignment um, with your soul here because this is coming and this is what's likely to occur okay this is your um, that great balance of freedom and responsibility and of course beautiful flow on into the nine of pentacles here okay so um, that's what I have for you there Scorpio I hope that's been helpful and um, yeah I look forward to our next reading in the meantime have a great day great week and I'll see you again soon bye for now